So in the last video, we made a we used the tan function to make this platform move around, and it's slow in the middle, and then it zips off to infinity, and it actually comes from negative infinity over here. So let's have a look at the tan oscillator script and see what other interesting uh, ways we can make a platform move. So here, from before, we're using tan and we're adding it to our Z. Well, instead of tan, let's say we copy this, control C, let's add sine divided by cos. So instead of tan of time, or of x, instead of tan of x, we are going to use tax of x, Ooh, tan of x. We're going to use sine of x over cos of x. All right, and let's see if that's a, an interesting way to move too. So I'm going to save it, and I'm going to go and press play. Okay, it's actually doing the same thing. Now usually when you're making a 3D game and you change your code and then you save it and it goes, you press play and it's doing the same thing, you probably didn't save your code. But in this case, it is doing exactly the same thing because that's what tan is. Tan is sine over cos. So mystery solved. So if we look at these, the sine and cos, so sine right here, the red, and cos, the blue, if we're doing sine divided by cos, we're gonna get that, that tan, uh, tan function like this. Because we're dividing by cos. So when cos gets close to zero, it's gonna spike up really fast because one divided by 0 0.1 is 10. One divided by, uh, let's write this out. One divided by 0 0.1 is 10. Okay, well one divided by 0 0.1, 0 0.01 is 100. And it'll keep going up a lot. If you add zeros, it'll add zeros. So it's gonna get to a million. And as it approaches zero, you know, once I get a bajillion zeros here, it's gonna really go up fast. And that's all tan is. When we hit this point, when cos is almost zero, it's going to go to infinity. Or it'll go to negative infinity, because negative one. And that is the secret right there. That's why this platform is moving the same way.